One of my next guests is an Emmy Award winning director who took home the prize for the documentary Anvil, the story of Anvil. Now he's got the industry buzzing with his latest project, Hitchcock, which, in, which my other guest is a star in. Please take a look. Please welcome Sasha Gervasi and James Darcy. Giving you jazz hands. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Good. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have a seat. Can we just can we just talk about James Darcy's performance as Helen Mirren in that clip? <laughs> I thought it was really convincing. Phenomenal. So mate, you did a fantastic job. I had no idea that, that, that was a man in a dress. Twenty minutes in makeup. Wow. Twenty four minutes. minutes. Helen's yeah. going to kill you. <laughs> She's going to absolutely punch you in the face the next time you see her. Um, how many times did you guys actually watch Psycho to uh, to get prepared for this? Uh, I, I, I've seen the film once when I was 15. I was sitting on a couch. My best friend literally sat on top of me to prevent me leaving the room and held my arms down. But I that's was, a whole other story. What? I was beyond, <laughs> Wait, I was, was this beyond... for fun or did something happen? <laughs> no, I'm, I do what I'm supposed to do in horror movies. I leap 10 feet in the air and then I don't sleep for a week. So he made me watch it that one time. I've never watched it again. You're such a big baby. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> That's not the way to put it. Is that the scariest movie you've ever had to watch? No, The Shining was more oh, scary yeah, than yeah, that. Oh, yeah, 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 Then there's that. For me, it was St. Elmo's Fire. <laughs> that was the most scary. Did that that was just really forever. scarred me. Yeah. I think it was Andrew McCarthy's performance. I've oh, never really gotten over it. sorry about that. Oh. Yeah. How many times did you watch it? Oh, no, I watched it when I was 15. I had the same experience as James. They're slightly different, but I was blown Were away by the Were you sitting on him? Is that I was sitting on him, and I kept his arms down. I, um, no, I, I watched it, and then just before I filmed, me and actually Anthony Hopkins sat down and watched Psycho together, and we were both <laughs> freaked out. And, and we both had this moment of like, what are we actually doing? Are we, why, what are we doing? And, but we were so inspired by the film. It was an amazing film. To, to, like 52 years later, it's still, you know, it's still in thralls. It's incredibly powerful. So I think it was an honor to be able to kind of then do this film. Well, I have to say that when I first heard that this film was coming out, well, then I heard it was being made by you. So I was like, OK, this should be fine. But when, it, when I first heard it was coming out, I thought, well, how are you, it's, how are you going to remake that? But you didn't remake it. Well, obviously not. I mean, I think for, for us, it was the un untold story of this relationship between that you see in the clip between Alfred Hitchcock and his wife, Alma, who was a, not just his wife, but a massive contributor and a collaborator. And she was really the genius behind the scenes. And sometimes the bane of his existence. And sometimes <laughs> the bane of his existence. No, I mean, she was just an incredibly, um, you know, she was a, a, a fiercely loyal, brilliant wife, but also she was a, an artist in her own right and, and helped Hitchcock all through his career. So for us, it was the sort of the unexpected story of this marriage, this creative collaboration. And I think we kind of all embrace that. Well, okay, but how do you end up playing Anthony Perkins when you're not? I mean, if you're so afraid of movies and horror and all yeah, that. Yeah, but I didn't stuff. have to play Norman Bates. Right. I just had to play Anthony Perkins, right. who's not a. Who, he's not he, scary in real life. I don't think so. I didn't find him. I scary. don't know. I think he might have been scary in real life. I I I, I thought he was quite shy and sweet and a bit awkward and not frightening. But then I did get to also dress up as mother and hold the knife at one point, which was <laughs> quite good fun. What, was doing that particular thing, like I the greatest get, I didn't moment? get to do that bit. I, like I mean, you I did didn't it offset. try it? I did it okay, offset. Yeah. I did it offset. <laughs> but I didn't get to do it in the movie, disappointingly. Mm. Because Tony Perkins was, in fact, doing a play on Broadway when the shower scene was shot. So they so, had a stunt double, sort of in, you know, with, with black makeup on her face. So actually, after yeah. all that, it wasn't even him. No, it wasn't him. It's a movie. That's yeah. crazy. It's a movie. It's a movie. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what you're but talking about. But you know about what was great, what, what was great about actually James' performance as Perkins was so many people who actually knew Perkins and knew the people have come up to both him and and me in the past few days and going that James's performance is just startling because he really when you see the film you've seen the film as soon as he comes on screen it's just it's eerie mm -hmm. it's really scary I, actually, and what, and I met his son last Elvis night. Perkins last Elvis night. Perkins he came up and said hi I'm Elvis and I said hi nice to meet you and then there was a long pause and he said Perkins <laughs> and I went oh oh, oh God um, was it how okay pressure and he kind of looked at me and went yeah you do look a bit like him. <laughs> Oh he was God, he was nice though. Like, he was sweet. He was sweet. Yeah. Um, you you directed Anvil, the story of Anvil, which is one of my all time favorite movies. I actually got to screen some of that movie in your bedroom. I guess that's another that's story for another story. day. That's a whole other story. That was a long time ago. That was a long ago. time ago. We were different people. But then you you because of that film, Anthony yeah. Hopkins got involved in this film. Well, it's an amazing story because you know I made this movie actually with the incredible help of some people here in this building, namely. A gentleman by the name of Rick Krim. Yeah, uh, who we love. And uh, and what happened was, you know, I I just we made this movie and we didn't know that anything was going to happen with it whatsoever. But it it had these crazy fans. So when I went to meet the producers of Hitchcock, you know, very big producer called Tom Pollock, you know, had run Universal, 
uh, he loved Anvil. So suddenly I was thrown into the mix with all these, m frankly, much more qualified major directors. And I was thrown in as a potential director, but they loved Anvil. Um, but it was all coming down to Tony Hopkins. So I went to meet Anthony Hopkins you know, for the first time. And as one would be, I was terrified. I mean, you know, I'm meeting Hannibal Lecter at an Italian restaurant. It was just not looking good. I was really scared. I dra drank coffee. I was like shaking. And I walk in did and- Did you order a bottle of Chianti? I ordered some Chianti <laughs> and, and I had beans. beans. And I did not do that. But he does that occasionally. It's very disconcerting. Um, anyway, so I, I walk into this restaurant and there's Anthony Hopkins. And I'm like, you know, just trying to keep it together. And the first thing he does is he throws open his arms and he says, I've seen Anvil three times. And then we had this conversation about Anvil. I was like, Anthony Hopkins saw Anvil. So he said, how are the band doing? I said, they're, they're great. They've just come back from a sold out tour of Japan. And he said, really? I said, yes, let's call up Lips. So what happened was it was Anthony Hopkins and Lips who is here today. Yeah. Lip, Lips came to the premiere to support us because, you know, he's our good luck charm because, you know, wherever <laughs> Lips is, magic happens. And so we wanted to have him here. But what was great about that conversation, you remember, is uh, Tony Hopkins gets on.